everyone, welcome to Eking Out with Melly Mel. I'm Melissa. Today, I am bringing you the December 2022 box by The Witch's Moon, and the theme is Dark Night of Yule. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so like I said in the intro, today we are opening the December 2022 box by The Witch's Moon and the theme is Dark Night of Yule. I am so excited for this. This is a great way to close out 2022, right? Or to wrap up the year. As usual, we have a nicely themed box and let's get right to it. Ooh. <laughs> All right, uh, a sneak peek. <laughs> okay, so, all right, let's get started. Uh, first thing that just kind of fell off the box is this uh, artwork right here. And it says Witch of Winter. It says Kaylee or Kaylish, Gaelic for Veiled One. It says that the Kaylish, I think that's how you say it, <laughs> is an ancient Celtic entity often linked to the divine hag, a wizened old woman endowed with supernatural abilities to exist outside conventional boundaries. It says that the Kaleech had shapeshifter-like abilities acting as the embodiment of nature itself neither intentionally benevolent nor malevolent. As the witch or queen of winter, the Kegelich determined the season's length and harshness while also shaping much of the known landscape with her ability to control cold winds, storms, and flood. That is pretty interesting. Okay, so let's see what else we have. So here we have the cheat cheese. We're putting this to the side and my oracle reading. I got a blessing on your intuition. So this is the card that was picked for me. And here we have a Yule prayer to put in your little book of shadows or grimoire. And here we have another piece to put in your book of shadows or grimoire. It says Yule Goat. The Yule Goat is a Northern European winter solstice symbol and tradition, likely a remnant of Norse and Germanic paganism. Modern representations of the Yule Goat are typically made of straw. The winter solstice or long night, which is December 21st on the Northern Hemisphere, marks the sun's annual re-entry into the astrological sign of Capricorn, ruled by the celestial body of Saturn. The winter solstice marks the symbolic death and rebirth of the sun when the waning daylight hours begin to grow again. Pagan Scandinavian practices sacrifice a kid goat during the solstice to honor deities like the Norse god Njord, uh, <laughs> associated with the sea, seafaring, wind, fishing, wealth, and crop fertility. The spirit of the harvest endured in the last sheaf of grain and carefully saved for Yule celebrations, especially in fashioning a Yule goat. Well, that is definitely something new for me. Okay, so let's see what else we have. <laughs> it looks like we are getting our own Yule Goat. This is really interesting. It is made of straw from what I can see. It just painted and has gold and red ribbons. I cannot wait to read more about this. I mean, I am a beginner in all of this, so this is all new to me and I'm excited to learn okay so what else do we have we have some sort of oil we have your ritual anointing oil and okay i can see like herbs maybe floating inside let me take a whiff yes i totally 
expected this to have some sort of like pine type of scent to it it's not very strong which is uh, great for me and oh here we have juniper berry so that is a uh, pretty cool that we have this here and next we have golden bow I'm not quite sure what this is I've never heard of this before so I cannot wait to read about this as well and here we have elderberry Here we have some ritual salts. It says Winter Tide Splendor Sacred Salt. And here we have what I am assuming is going to be a candle. I wonder what color we're going to get. I am thinking maybe red or like gold. That would be pretty cool. Um, okay. And whoop, I was wrong. We have green. As usual, we have this beeswax candle. So you can actually open this. Super cool. And here we have some incense sticks. This is Yule Smoke. So I wonder what this is going to smell like. Let's see. Hmm. It actually smells really good. It's a bit on the powdery side, but something makes it smell kind of sweet, but not too overpowering. Kind of makes me think of coconut for some reason, but I doubt it has coconut. So this is another one that I cannot wait to read more about. And here we have the final piece empty box now this is a little heavy so i am assuming it's going to be some sort of plaque of sorts right it feels like this is going to be maybe like metal okay. Ooh, this is nice this is the holly king oh look at this this is really cool looking and it's funny because on the back it says that this is part of a company called i guess summit collection and i actually just got an item that also says summit collection is a harry potter item over at the wizarding world of harry potter and it's funny that now i have a second item from this company which is this holly king um plaque super cool All right, so now that we opened the box and got all the items out, let's go over the cheat sheet. Okay. It is two pages long. So here we have the Dark Knight of Yule. We finally arrived to the precipice of darkness within the wheel of the year, the great winter solstice Yule. We honor the silent and reflective time that has been provided to us during these past several months, guiding us through inner journeys that have been both intense and intuitive. Throughout this traditional and exclusive collection, we celebrate life, death, and the return of the sun god, bringing with him signs of new hope, new prospects, and new growth. Join us as we settle into the longest night of the year, reflecting on the promises fulfilled and the bounties that may reside in the twinkling future. The magical items in this box are as follows. Item number one, the Witch's Moon Handmade Celebratory Yule Goat, which we have right here. The Yule Goat is most commonly recognized as a Yule symbol and amulet within the Scandinavian and Northern European traditions. You may have caught a glimpse of this familiar symbol placed on the altars, fireplaces, and trees of practicing pagans and witches. 
The story is told that the Norse god Thor would ride his chariot through the clouded skies drawn by two goats. In Sweden, people regard the Yule goat as a spirit that would appear before the winter solstice to ensure celebratory preparations were completed correctly. Also called the Yule Bok, the Yule goat has often been depicted as the messenger of presents and gifts during the winter months. This very special Yule Goat has been handmade specifically for the subscribers of The Witch's Moon for this very season. Delicately made with straw, twine, and ribbon, the festive Yule Goat can be placed on your altar or near the hearth to bring a sense of joyful energy to your sacred space at this time. Next, we have the Yule Goat Book of Shadows artwork. Next, we have the Winter Green Man plaque. Oh, so this is the green man. I call him the Holly King. <laughs> Again, I am a beginner. I am still learning. It says that the green man has been represented in ancient rituals and mythology dating back thousands of years, spanning a variety of cultures, and still maintains the recognizable leafy green face to this day. Among the many meanings and information that has been published about the lore of the green man, there is one recurring truth. The green man represents our intimate connection with the seasonal cycle of each year, resonating with the deep wisdom of continual death and rebirth. It is within these teachings that we find new hope and guidance, knowing that our lives are not meant to be lived stagnantly, but brimming with new energies and renewed inspiration. The green man becomes alive with the coming of spring, watching over the growing nature and sprouting leaves guarding over the forest until the winter captures him once again. Even through the cold winter months, the spirit of the green man is strongly felt full of life and beautiful meaning. The representation of both man and nature seamlessly combined resonates so intimately with our practices and rituals. Both of these qualities rely on one another for survival and growth. It is so important to remember our responsibility and devotion to this sacred bond as we work with natural energies to enhance all aspects of our lives. As we work with the element of earth through each season, we focus on the spiritual cycle of letting go and gaining during the waning and waxing of each year. The green man brings us closer to nature where we are called to be. His energy reminds us of our connection and responsibility to life that is found within the soils and sprouts of each natural being. As you hang this plaque in your sacred space, take the time to connect with the very special energy that surrounds this time of year. Finding hope in the new beginnings, we have the opportunity to embrace as the sun captures the sky once again. Now, um, quick pause. If you hear a squeaky noise in the background, my dog Luna's got a new toy. And even though she is downstairs, I can clearly hear her up here. So if you hear squeakiness in the back, that is Luna with her new toy. <laughs> Next, uh, we have Witch of Winter Book of Shadows artwork. Next, we have a Yule Prayer Book of Shadows artwork. Next, we have the Hand Roll Yule Celebratory Spell Candle. We have hand rolled and anointed this candle with the intention of providing you with the energies of renewal and hope. As you light this candle during the sunset of the winter solstice, allow the flame to dance before you and your loved ones during celebratory rituals. Before you begin, be sure to create the energy that surrounds you and your altar. This can include cleaning, cleansing, and setting the tone. We always recommend being comfortable within your space so that you may create the most accurate and authentic energy. This hand-rolled spell candle has been anointed with clove, cinnamon and lavender oil as well as a blend from our special cabinet of witchery. Next we have Yule Magical Anointing Oil. 
Upon much request, we have brought back our classic Yule Magical Anointing Oil. Our Yule Anointing Oil was created with the intention of bringing the energies of hope, renewal, and gratitude to your space during this time. This oil can be used to create blends or anoint items associated with Yule. As you use this oil, be sure that your intentions are clear. We will often recite short intentional mantras as we use these oils to anoint our skin or magical tools. We have enchanted this magical oil with anise, clove, pine, and cedarwood oils, and have included the herbs of mistletoe as well. Inside your oil, you will find a small soda-like crystal chip. That is pretty cool. Next, we have elderberry. It says that elderberries are found on the elder tree specifically the black elder, formerly known as being a flower shrub in the honeysuckle family. These specific elderberries come from Eastern Europe. Although the berries are commonly used for creating a variety of infusions, the leaves and stems are known for being toxic and poisonous. The elder tree is thought to possess wonderful magical powers and abilities due to being inhabited by the tree spirit known as the Elder Mother. It is due to this fact that dowsing, rods, and other divinatory tools are found crafted from the wood of the elder tree. Throughout many pagan traditions, elderberry has had a long-lasting respect associated with its energies. The elder tree is specifically associated with the fairy realms and other associated spirits. Known for being an obvious protector and dispeller of negativity, elderberry also carries the unique ability to induce vivid dreams and connect us with the benevolent spirit. Next, we have juniper berry. These juniper berries have been sourced from small evergreen trees related to cedar, cypress, and other conif conifers. <laughs> in addition to the mention of juniper berries in a variety of ancient Egyptian writings, remnants of the juniper berry have been found in many royal tombs, almost certainly used as an offering. In our practices, juniper berry is a go-to for protection, love, and healing rituals. As you work with these intentions during this time of year, allow these juniper berries to assist you in cultivating necessary energies. Next, we have Golden Bow Buff, <laughs> also known as European Mistletoe. This shrub is found growing among the branches of poplar, elm, apple, hawthorn, and most importantly, the oak tree. The Druids revere the mistletoe when it was found on the oak and was cut with the gold sickle on Midsummer's Day. Mistletoe can be used for a variety of purposes, including but not limited to protection, warding off sickness and death, invisibility, and stamina. Mistletoe can also be incorporated into topical ointments and liniments. That is really cool. So then golden bow or buff is mistletoe. Good to know. All right, next we have the Winter Tide Splendor Ritual Sacred Salt. Next, we have the Yule Smoke Ritual Incense Sticks. It says this powerful incense was included within this collection to be used for your Yule meditations and rituals. As the smoke from this incense wafts through your surroundings, take the time to rest upon the blessings and lessons that have presented themselves to you in the previous months. Feel the overwhelming gratitude that surrounds you. Next, we have the personalized oracle reading. And of course, as usual, we do have a Book of Shadows a blank parchment page. Wow, this was a really nice box. And now let's go over favorites and least favorites. I really love this box. Um, it's my first time celebrating Yule. Um, so this is super cool. I, I don't even know what to pick as a favorite. I think that having the Yule goat is really cool. I also really love that we have uh, mistletoe, juniper berries, and elderberries in here because I'm just adding to my little cabinet, right? And uh, what else? I think this is so cool. 
to have the green man plaque who i called the holly king earlier i think it's because i saw the hollies in here so i think that's pretty cool um least favorite item it's hard to pick something because this whole box is really cool but if anything i would say probably the salt just because i end up not using the salt like ever um so that's probably why i would pick this as my least favorite but i did really love the box it was so cool let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this box which item was your favorite and least favorite as usual if you love the things that i talk about definitely subscribe comment like and hit that notification bell so that you can keep waking out with me bye